Hi there, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Anais, and usually I make videos related to Kubernetes and the cloud native ecosystem. Now, this video is going to build on two of my previous videos, specifically the Starboard Operator video and the Trivi CLI video. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you some new features of Trivi, and then I'm going to showcase the Trivi operator and how to use it. Now, within Trivi, Trivi is a comprehensive, all in all, security scanner that you can use through your terminal, through your CLI. It's a client tool that you install, and then you can scan any type of resource for security issues. You can either scan for example, your container images for vulnerability issues. You can scan configuration files such as Terraform or Kubernetes manifests for misconfiguration issues. Or you can scan secrets within your Terraform configurations. Or now you can also scan with Trivi your Kubernetes cluster with the Trivi Kubernetes Trivi Kates command. You can either scan an entire cluster, specific namespaces, running workloads, anything you fancy. Now, since the latest release, from this week, you can also use Trivi to scan your Kubernetes cluster for RBAC, role-based access control issues. Now, this is all in all the Trivi CLI. Separately to the Trivi CLI, we have the Trivi operator. Now, the Trivi operator is an evolution of the Starboard operator. Both of them follow the Kubernetes operator model. It's an all in all security scanner that lives inside of your Kubernetes cluster to automate security scans. I'm going to show you how to use both the Trivi CLI to scan your cluster for vulnerability issues, for misconfiguration issues and more. And then I'm going to show you how to use the Trivi operator. Comparison and when to use which. Let's get started. Now, here's my GitHub account and here you will find a Trivi demo repository. And in the Trivi demo repository, you can find all of the CLI commands, everything that I'm using in this video, as well as the commands for the Trivi operator. However, for the most up-to-date commands, I highly suggest you check out the Trivi repository. It's all open source. We don't collect any information from you. Nothing of that sort. We don't get your email. We don't get any of your scan results or similar. And now, if you're already here, make sure to give us a star. It would make us really happy to see your stars there, <laughs> if you like Trivi. Now, within the readme, you will find the documentation. Let's head over to the documentation. As I get it started section, and here's the installation. Make sure to go ahead and install Trivi, because we're going to use Trivi now. Like always, all of the resources I'm using in this video are linked in the description. Check it out. Also, do join the Aqua Security open source Slack channel, link below. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, anything you would like to see on my channel or on Aqua's channel. So I'm connected to a basic three node Kubernetes cluster running on Google Cloud. You can use any Kubernetes cluster for this demo. It doesn't matter. You can use a kind mini cube. Uh, micro K, it's Docker desktop Kubernetes cluster, it doesn't matter, anything will work. Now, I'm connected here inside of my terminal to my cluster, it's a three node cluster. If I open it up, I can see that there are a bunch of different pods inside of my cluster. Now, they're all in the kube system namespace. This is everything that ultimately your Kubernetes cluster on Google needs to run. So, to make the demo more interesting, we're going to install some manifests. Now, those manifests are also in my Trivi demo repository on GitHub that I showed earlier. And we're going to install the manifests. So anything that's within a manifest is basically a deployment and a service YAML file. So looking again at our pods, we can now see that there are two pods running for our React application. If I go ahead to service, I can see that there's my service running and I can forward it locally to port 8080 and take a look at this application. Now here localhost 8080 is our application running. I can put anything else into that basic application and I can submit it. It's a pretty straightforward application. It just uses um, a basic API to pull some articles. That's all. And I can just delete articles and do whatever else I can do with this application, right? Now, we want to use Trivi to scan this running application, to scan our Kubernetes cluster, to actually see what is the state of the security within our Kubernetes cluster. Now, once you have Trivi installed, you have access to the CLI. Now, in my previous video, I focused on a lot of the other commands that you can see here. In this video, we're going to focus on the Trivi Kubernetes command. Now, at the beginning, I just want to go ahead and I want to scan the entire cluster for my 
for any vulnerabilities, any security issues. Now this may take a few seconds longer than usual because it's scanning all of your resources for the first time. Now, as you can see, we can see all of the reports for all of our resources in the cube system namespace. We can see the vulnerabilities, misconfiguration issues, and in case it identified any secrets, it will be shown as well. Now, then we have also a scan for our deployment React application. And as we can see here, it has two critical vulnerabilities, two high vulnerabilities, and then it has one medium configuration issue and eight low configuration issues. Now, in the end, you can see all of the RBAC scans. Um, you can dig into them in more detail. We are not going to do it in this video again. Subscribe to the Aqua Open Source YouTube channel if you're interested in RBAC scans. Now, we might want to scan just a specific namespace, and we can do it through V as well, just by specifying the namespace, so just our application namespace, and then we say summary all, and we can scan our application namespace. And we can see just for our deployment in the application namespace, um, the vulnerabilities and the misconfiguration issues. Now we could also go ahead and we can specify that we want to just scan a specific workload running within our cluster, such as our deployment. And it will go ahead and only scan the deployment. Now in this case, it's obviously going to be the same result, but imagine you have a larger cluster with different resources running. You would want to scan or be able to scan them individually as well. And I'm going to tell you in a second why. Now, lastly, you could also specify, instead of summary, you could specify you want to actually see the details of the deployment. So you can say report all. Now, the thing is that for your entire cluster, you wouldn't want to run that command because you will see lots of details for everything within your cluster. Now, in this case, we only have the deployment that we are scanning only the React application deployment. So there are not that many vulnerabilities that are going to be displayed. There are lots of misconfiguration issues. So in total, we have 34 issues in that um, deployment that we could fix, that we could take care of. But ultimately, it's still like very limited uh, of like what's going to be displayed versus if you scan your entire cluster. Like the larger the cluster, the more uh, information you will be provided that you won't be able to filter through with that command. So use the all report all command only on specific resources. That's my suggestion. But you could use it on your entire cluster if that's what you fancy. Now, the other thing is that you could really um, use any of the flags or most of the flags from um, the Trivi CLI as well. So you can, for example, only um, say like you want to have only the critical vulnerabilities um, displayed of your cluster. And you can go ahead and you can only see the critical vulnerability of your cluster with uh, the severity equals critical command. And here you will be only displayed with the critical vulnerabilities from within your cluster. Now that we have done the manual scans, we want to automate our scans through the Trivi operator. So we can go back to the documentation. And if you go to documentation, and right now it's living in here, in the operator section, installation, and the Helm installation. So first you want to add the Aqua Security Helm registry to your Helm registry lists. And then you want to update all of your registries, all of them that are connected to your Helm. That's generally good practice, so do that, please. And lastly, we can go ahead and we can deploy the Trivi operator within our cluster. So it's going to create, basically, it's going to install the operator from the Aqua Helm repos repository, Helm registry. Then it's going to install it in the Trivi system namespace. It's going to create the namespace because the namespace doesn't exist right now in my cluster. And then it's going to set the Trivi ignore and fix to true. Now this flag basically tells Trivi to only report any issues that have a fix available and ignore all of the unfixed issues because if we can't fix them, why would we want to be bombarded with that noise? And it's going to be the version 0 0.07 of the Trivi operator. I'm going to go ahead and install it. Awesome. So it's already telling you what you can do. Right now you can filter for vulnerability reports, config auto reports, 
and you can get um, any logs of the deployment of the operator itself, basically, that tells you further information. Now, the goal is that we're going to expand basically the Trivi operator to also have CIS scans and other um, security standard scans natively through the Trivi operator as well. Now, right now we have vulnerability scans. So once the Trivi operator is installed inside of your cluster, then we can go back to our cluster and here within our namespaces, we can look at the Trivi system namespace and within here, we will have the Trivi operator part running. Now, it will also have a service and then we can also go ahead and um, well, check the Helm chart. Everything is running. Awesome. So it should go ahead and it should scan for vulnerability reports. Now, right now they are non-displayed because I'm in the Trivi system namespace. I can check all of my namespaces and now in the app namespace, I will have a vulnerability scan for the container image that's deployed within the deployment. And again, I can see that there are two critical vulnerabilities and two high vulnerabilities of that vulnerability report. So I can also go ahead and say config audit report and I will see my config audit reports. And as you can see, they have five medium and five low um, issues within that. So this is everything that you basically see here um, <laughs> within the operator. It's pretty straightforward. Now, what is the difference between the CLI and the operator? So like mentioned earlier, if you have your Kubernetes cluster, this is our kids cluster. What the CLI does, it's basically going ahead and it's scanning any resource that you have within your cluster. So let's say you have a deployment um, or anything else, then basically you can specify, hey, scan the entire cluster or hey, please scan a specific deployment, what we've done in this demo, right? And it's very an imperative way of uh, scanning resources. Way to scan, okay? So it's basically, I want to scan, trivi scan, trivi goes and scans. That's the imperative way of handling this, right? So the trivi CLI can either be used ideally by, for example, um, developers. So if you want to just scan your local development cluster, if you want to scan just specific workloads within your development environment, that's when you would want to use the Trivi CLI and that's just do the imperative scans through the Trivi CLI. Now it's also very useful for other people like um, if you're a security researcher or if you are um, a security professional and you want to scan specific resources within a cluster and you want to dig into specific resources just in a dynamic way, then you would want to use the Trivi CLI as well. Now you can also use the Trivi CLI as part of your CICD pipeline. That's also possible. So with the CICD pipeline, you would then automate the scans, right? So it's not in an imperative anime way anymore, but instead you would do it, for example, on any push to main, you would run the CICD pipeline, right? It would just run and it would scan your resources. So you can scan your resources before deployment, you can scan your manifest before deployment, and then after deployment, you can scan with the trivicates command also your resources within your cluster. Now, in comparison with the operator, the operator would live inside of our Kates cluster. So here is the operator. So trivi operator. And here are our other resources, right? So once it's installed within our cluster, Trivi Operator will have access to your other namespaces and will do automatic scans of anything that's within your other resources, like anything there that basically didn't specify that you don't want to scan, it will scan it. As, as long as you didn't specify you don't want to scan, it will go ahead and scan it. Now, once it's scanned it, it will create vulnerability reports. and it will create config audit reports. And those live as CIDs inside of your Kubernetes cluster. It's the same process as what I showed you before, earlier in another video, with the starboard operator. So basically with the Trivia operator, we just responded and with the evolution of it in a way. So we have those, both of those living as CIDs inside of our Kubernetes cluster. Now, the thing is that it has several benefits. 
If something is a CID, it makes it more connected to other resources. If something is a CID, um, you already know how to use it. So you don't have to learn a completely new tool. Now, if it's a CID, it's both machine and human readable. Machine and human readable. There's lots of other benefits. So basically anything that's a CRD, a Kubernetes resource, you can connect with other Kubernetes focused tools, such as with your observability stack, right? So those are the main differences that the um, Tiffy operator is really the declarative way of scanning your resources. It just automates everything. Now, um, with, in the case of the Trivia operator, you will have to install the Trivia operator within your cluster. Like you will have to install the CRDs of the Trivia operator with everything inside of your Kubernetes cluster. However, um, the CLI doesn't install anything. It's a completely non-intrusive CLI. It doesn't install anything in your cluster. It doesn't leave anything in your cluster. And that's really a main difference between a Trivia CLI and other security-focused CLIs that other CLIs might install something with a new cluster, the Trivi CLI does not. So if you're curious about the difference and why you should use those tools and the goals and the integration those tools have within your organization, check out the previous talk that I did at GitOpsCon. Link below. I hope I can find it. <laughs> now, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you really enjoyed this video, maybe subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love to see you in one of my upcoming videos. Like always, if you have any comments, feedback, thoughts, comment down below. I would love to hear from you. Have an amazing day. I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye-bye.